Adjust Display Performance 3D Accuracy in Katia V5. Okay, so I have opened the same file twice. Um, in the left version, we have the performance set to, to the has value that will give us the best performance. But in terms of visual, um, we're gonna see that this area should be should be round, just like on the on the right side. But it has this uh, hexagonal uh, look. So we see, let's say, the edges that will define that circle. To adjust this performance, you will, uh, you can go up to Tools, Options. And uh, if you're going to navigate up to Display, and after that in the Performance tab, we're going to see the 3D accuracy uh, value over here. So this is the highest value that will give us the best performance, but we'll make our shape, uh, let's say, our... Uh, circular elements uh, look uh, polygonal so they will have those uh, those sides those edges on the other side we have the value set to 0 0.01 that will give us the best 3d accuracy so it is important to <coughs> to keep it at a, at a, let's say lowest value in my opinion you can keep it at 0 0.01 um, it won't use uh, so many, let's say, resources to to visualize that uh, that 3D model. So for this drone assembly, we have it uh, once with uh, the value set to 10, and over here with the values uh, set to 0 0.01. We see that if we're gonna zoom uh, away from our model, the two of the two, let's say. Uh, assemblies won't look uh, any much different but if you're gonna zoom in on uh, some area for example on the body over here we're gonna see that this surface is uh, much more uh, let's say fine detailed than uh, than we when we have that 3d accuracy set to a higher value also for example we're gonna have this button so for the camera it will look like this or this should be circular and it will have this uh, this aspect so i will maximize um, this one when we have the value set to 10 and i will want to draw on top of this uh, screw so i will right click on that i will center the graph i will see that uh, this will be the model also the model it's uh, reused within the same assembly. So this is a step file that was imported in uh, Katian assembly. The same model is also over here. Over here we have a little misalignment on the assembly. But I will go on this model and I will start to uh, modify in part design. So I have double click on this uh, hex. I will define a new sketch starting from uh, from this. We will see that um, Katia put us in a uh, normal tool and we have this uh, GoPro assembly in front of the camera. We can just go to cut part by sketch, cut part by uh, sketch plane. And that will um, allow us to visualize our selected plane. And over here I will define a new circle. We're gonna see that it will be automatically positioned uh, in the other uh, area where the, the screw will be also used. I will, uh, let's say, maybe define a, a circle of uh, 12 in diameter. And if I will have this extruded, we see that we're going to get a warning that the current work body isn't in a body. I should have a right click on this hex and put it in a, a working object, but uh, it should work like this also. So Katia will do that automatically. We're going to see that the hex uh, has been updated. And uh, we can have that defined. So even though when I was sketching this, I, uh, I made use of the, the circle, so not the, not the hexagon, which can be, um, let's say, drawn over here using the, the polygon and the number of sides at the top. 
you're gonna see that uh, these uh, these two will have let's say the same uh, the same aspect so i'll just have this uh, reverse they are not the same uh, let's say size but we see um this has sharper edges than uh, than this one so this is mainly for visualization so only that let's say side will have the wireframe attached to that if you're gonna swap to wireframe we're gonna see a circle a cylinder will have this wireframe only with two lines while a hexagon will have uh, all those sides defined also within the wireframe and now if i will swap the performance by going again to tools options 3d accuracy i will set it to the lowest value so 0 0.01 we're gonna see that the two circles that will define the cylinders it will take a while for the software to update but now they will be perfectly uh, round while the hexagon will remain uh, just as it uh, it should if i will have those two deleted I will also delete the aggregate elements. This will be okay. Also, we have this sketch over there. Okay, so keep in mind that it's important to adjust the performance. For example, this um, this screw uh, has an Allen key uh, in the middle, so that should be hexagonal but the other elements shouldn't be like like that so also the profile of the screw is as well uh, like this even if you're gonna go up to options and set accuracy up to 0 0.01 because the model has been modeled like this as an hex not as a, a circle okay so i hope you find this video useful if you also encounter this problem in, in Katia, you can now let's say modify that performance value to better visualize your uh, 3d models and this is important and especially if you're working with uh, str files and 3d printing make sure that you have the visualization set like this it's the same uh, principle as in solidworks for uh, for this okay so please if there are any questions let me know in the comment section and consider subscribing if you find this kind of content useful